Hey everyone, David C. Anderson from the Knife Center coming at you SHOT Show 2022. Flying solo here at the Viper Knives booth to show, we've got three essentially new models here from them. Uh, we're gonna start this new Yen's Anso design, it's the Orso 2. Uh, big difference between this and the Orso 1, we've got a frame lock here instead of the liner lock of the previous version and some really cool handles here. We've got titanium on this one. You can see the particular milling pattern it's got some nice traction up here around the pivot. Uh, there's also the same, essentially the same thing without that traction going on. A little more streamlined looking, but both very cool. See the backside there with the frame lock. Uh, a couple other materials. Well, we've got the black titanium version as well. Pardon me. We've got the black titanium version as well as canvas micarta and a carbon fiber. So. All the greatest hits you'd probably expect uh, from a new Viper knife like this. Uh, I mentioned the Yenza Anso design, blade length here. You're getting close to about three and a half inches. I don't have a ruler on me right now. Straight back profile, high flat grind, a lot of belly. It's going to slice really nicely, I think. Flips really nicely too. Ball bearings in the pivot. Good action going on. Uh, the steel here is something a little new. It's a uh, German company called Lohmann. And the, or the uh, name of it is QPM 20-4. What you guys need to know is this is essentially the same composition as M390. So you got that powder metallurgy performance with a really good edge retention. Really nice fit and finish. That nice Italian feature like the crown spine looks really good. Next up, we have the Viper Turn, which actually I'll pull one of the, uh, the previous versions here. Original version of this knife has the titanium bolster integral with the titanium liners. New version this year for these guys is no bolster and stainless steel liners rather than titanium. And by doing that, they free up a little bit of space here so you get a bigger patch of material, starting with this cool carbon fiber with yellow interspersed in kind of the marbling texture going, or the marbling, yeah, we'll go with texture going on there. Looks really nice. Green micarta and a nice ivory G10, which I really like as well. Cool thing about this knife is it's got ball bearings in addition to the mid-mounted backlock, which is not a combination you see too often. So you get a really silky feel to the opening action of this. That's very different from something that might have kind of more spring pressure from the back, back spring otherwise. Deep carry pocket clip on these guys as, as most of the versions previously. Some of them did have no pocket clip and a little pocket sheath. These all come with that deep carry pocket clip, which is quite nice. Awesome shape. I've always said I like kind of the custom styling of this knife along with the utility. Really cool. All right, next up, we have got some new versions of a knife you probably saw uh, a couple weeks ago on the Knife Center channel, the Viper Hug. Some bronze handle options with, check out that milling on that guy, really cool. You kind of a, a mimicked bolster look and I'm not even sure what to call that pattern here, but it adds a little bit of texture. It's a little bit like a jigged bone in a way, kind of that jigging pattern, but of course it's bronze, so it's not quite the same. Blades, exactly the same, M390. You can get it in the smooth bronze on this particular one. Really good walk and talk on those guys. I mean, you can just hear that coming through, I'm sure, on the camera. Gotta love it. Uh, two more. Got a starburst pattern or a splatter pattern, whatever you want to call that. And another version that's kind of been oxidized and then milled out so you get that two-tone look, the nice bronze kind of popping through the uh, the black stone wash on this. Just really cool looking stuff, you guys. Um, if you're interested in checking them out, if they're not at the Knife Center yet, there will be very soon, and we'll have links in the description where you can go check that out. Let me know what you thought of the knives. Let Viper know what you thought of the knives as well. And keep sticking around for more great SHOT Show coverage.